All right, so we did not video uh, a whole lot yesterday um, besides Dad's segment. I don't know where it's being put in or, or if it's already been put out. But um, we got most of the front end put back on. Um, we're waiting on a couple pieces for the rear end. Um, our left rear limit limiter I bought the wrong pucks for, so... We're waiting on those to come in to be able to put that back together. We're waiting on rod ends to be able to put our rods back on. Um, just a bunch of little stuff that's kind of holding us up. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're working on now. Um, just to just to further what Dad was talking about, like it's such a such a difficult thing to try to. And I'm not complaining. Like like I'm blessed. I'm I'm very thankful for the life that I live. But for example, last week, it's like, we're going to try to do better in the, in the, on the camera. We're going to try to, you know, video some more. We're going to try to produce this, do that, whatever. Um, so we try to do better there. We took off on Thursday and then we have the performance we had on Saturday. And it's like, it's great. I'm thankful that we ran third, but we're better than that. And we've got better equipment than that. And there's just a lot of factors of it. So it's, it's like, it's a, it's hard. It, it's, it's not, not as easy as, you know, it just trying to find the balance of everything, trying to do, you know, make sure that we don't neglect y'all on content, trying to make sure that, that our race cars are up to par and we don't miss things. Like, I feel like, and I'm not making excuses at all. Like, like I'm just trying to be transparent with y'all. I feel like we might have missed something on the car. Um, I went through everything, and I haven't found anything yet. But it just, the car wasn't what it normally is. So, kind of bothers me. Um, so, you know, there's just, there's that element to, to what we do as well. Just trying to, trying to make sure we, we do everything correctly on, on all platforms. So, and we are human, so you know what I mean? But yeah, that's, that's the latest in here. I'm going to try to do better at recording and videoing and all of that stuff, all while trying to make sure that our maintenance program and, and my, my side of everything doesn't, uh, slip away, but we're going to fix that too. So um yeah that's the latest in the shop we're waiting on parts i went and got five sheets of metal we're gonna be putting a, a fresh nose on putting this nose back together so that we'll have a good spare nose and we'll have a new nose um because the nose has been pushed all around and you know i don't know it's just all these little things when when you're having issues with the race car you want to eliminate them so we're gonna, like I said, put a new nose on, put new fenders and, and a hood because all of that was wrinkled up and the hood's got, it, it's just, it was time. We're gonna put a new deck piece over here, put new right sides, trying to eliminate every possible problem. That way at the end of the day, I can say, well, I as a driver missed or, or whatever, not, man, we, we didn't do what we were supposed to in the shop, so. That's, that's the latest around here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is Wednesday, uh, July 31st. I should know that day. It is Avery's birthday, sweet 16 today. Happy birthday, boo. Uh, I know this probably looks like a mess right here. So we've been having, among other things, you know, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Uh, our door has been slowing down on the back of this trailer, like barely, barely moving. Like when you hit the button, it's barely going anywhere. The pump seems to be really loud. Couldn't figure out what was going on. It's uh, gradually gotten worse and worse. So obviously it's screaming that it needs maintenance and attention. So we're full of fluid. Uh, I did a little research and I'm sure by the time this video airs, there's going to be a, so many of y'all telling me what's wrong with it. Hopefully I'll already have it figured out by then. Uh, all the research I saw said the first thing to do is find out if there's any kind of filter in the, in the uh, hydraulic oil system. 
I don't see a filter. Next thing, it says contaminated uh, hydraulic oil fluid or even the wrong weight oil in this thing would cause the kind of problems that we're having. Uh, I ran the door all the way down, which should have all the fluid in here. And it is full, but man, this stuff, it looks like milk and it looks like water. It's so, it, it's, it don't seem like oil. Dang sure don't seem like anything that would work in hydraulic. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm rigging up a, a vacuum. I'm hoping anyway, if this works great, if not, you'll probably never see it. But I'm gonna hook an air line to this, stick this down in the tank, put another hose going into a bucket and I'm gonna shoot air through this and try to make a suction, a vacuum, so to speak, to siphon the uh, oil out of this thing. And if that works, I'm gonna get all I can get out. I'm gonna fill it up with good oil. We're gonna run this thing through a series of cycles and then we're gonna do it again and we're gonna keep doing that until we have consistently good hydraulic oil because I think that's the problem we should know right away because once I get all this out and put the right fluid to it she should pick up pressure and go so uh, that's what I'm fixing to work on I know at one time we were low on fluid and this thing was skipping and we poured some fluid in and I'm afraid that somehow or another we poured the wrong fluid in there because we run the big owl oil and we have big owl uh, we have racing engine oil in the buckets and we have hydraulic fluid in the buckets and it could possibly have gotten the wrong stuff poured in here. So uh, anyway, or it could have got water and I mean, or that stuff could be really old. So either way, we're trying to eliminate the problem. So here we go. Early morning, break of dawn, the shop lights flicker on, tools in hand, we're a crew, the hard work's never done, engines hum, grease flies, racing dreams of ticking clocks, grinding metal, tightening bolts, we're racing against the clocks, lug nuts, spinning wrenches in sync, the crew knows what to do, sweat dripping, hearts pumping, we'll push this car on through, late nights, early fights, the road is long and tough, but in the shop we build our dreams, we got the right stuff. Races are won here, in the heart of the shop, every nut and bolt, every turn and pop, baby, when the flag drops, we'll be ready to zoom. From the shop to the track, racing straight to All right, the so what's, the, what's the verdict? So the verdict is my my homemade pump didn't work, and then this genius walked out here and was like, "I got a pump." So uh, yeah, everybody needs one of these in their shop. We got them from Napa, and you can get one that hand pumps, and then it it circulates itself, or you can get the one you hook the airline to. We that use thing that truly one. is a lifesaver. Like we take our radiators out a lot, or they do to clean them. And uh, this sucks the coolant out, saves the coolant, and we're able to dump the coolant back in. And coolant's very expensive. A lot of times people don't pull their radiators out because they don't want to lose it. We've tried all kinds of drain buckets. Yeah. That thing right there is the tip. Yeah, you Napa. can get them at Napa. I forget, yeah. it's some sort of, I, I don't remember And we name. have not been paid for this advertisement. So all of y'all whining, Ooh, straight in commercial. This is straight up just telling you it's a good product that saves you money in the long run and go with it that's it yep all right son you feel all right you sick this is rare I feel good, man. what are you doing what are you doing it's probably back or something no it looks good it looks body, good body. keep it up man body's by mike yeah body's by mike body's by mike huh you're building yeah. bodies now huh this is a door okay yeah i gotta yeah. cut the wheel by now okay for a minute yeah. No, so Mikey is actually working on a deck piece. This is what isn't this? This is legit your first ever like actual race car panel to build. You messed around, but like this is your first panel you're building. This is the first one that's actually me. So Miss Danica saved this video whenever he's like 30 and he's you know a professional body guy. You can you can you know whatever. Anyways, so Mikey is. See how good I am chasing my t-shirt. So if it looks like doo-doo and I waste a whole sheet, just no driving another sheet. Chase taught me that. I scraped this fit card all up, but it's just money. And I end up getting back. Whoa! Just 190. Don't tell them my secrets. Don't, 
You popped me with the brake, man. That's rule number two. I pogo sticked you. You know what they say? <laughs> huh? You got it? Yeah, I got it. But leave me alone. Leave me alone, man. Seriously. Dude, this is this is history being made. I gotta be here. History's already been made whenever I got in the court Paragon. First ever driver to to beat all the locals on his first night. Ever. You're right. I forgot. All right, get the camera off me, bro. Mike, come on, man. You got one panel left. Usually breaks. Now we need the razor blade. We ain't on time over here. We ain't on schedule. Look at that. Mm. Somebody asked why you do that. Look how straight that cut is. Yep. We learned that from another fellow YouTuber, and uh, ever since we use our brake as like a knockoff sheet metal shear too. Yeah. Okay, now before you break this, first thing you need to do is uh, I'm gonna get this metal off. Cause you can't bend that with metal still in. That's scrap. We're gonna use it though. Yeah, that's scrap. Well, we may use it. That's, no, that's we, scrap. Yeah, we'll use it. Scrap. We'll put it in, we'll put it in the major bin. No. Yeah. Early morning, break of dawn. The shock lights flicker on. Tools in hand, we're a crew. The hard work's never done. Engines hum, grease flies, racing dreams are ticking clocks. Grinding metal, tightening bolts. We're racing against the clocks. Lug nuts, spinning wrenches and sink. The crew knows what to do. Sweat dripping, hearts pumping. We'll push this car on through. Late nights, early fights. The road is long and tough. But in the shop, we build our dreams. We got the right stuff. Races are won here. In the heart got of the a shop. Panel bill. Let's go see it a fit. Not done, yeah, not done it is done. It's, it's ready to go on there. Clean it all up, mm. We're gonna put some big holes in here. No, we ain't. <laughs> Why? No, you don't put them in yet. I just mark them in case we need them. They don't talk to me. Huh? I need a little tool. Alright, so he's doing that. Connor finally showed up. How's it going? About time. Uh, Rock. Is now nah, you've been here a minute. Um, I'm fixing to change the oil in the generator, and then we are done with generator maintenance. Dad's on his way to get um, race racing parts, and then that's it. We're just waiting on parts. So here she is, first piece. Look at that. Look at that. Chase can't do that in a million years right there. There's some upgrades right here. Man, that's just, that's just perfect. Hey. Mm. Chase up? Holland Racing Incorporated. Yep. We are, uh, what are we doing? Working on the peaks. Working on the peaks, huh? Working on the peaks. Everything needs maintenance around this rig, everything. Everything. What's that? Big Owl. Big Owl. Huh? Oh, they build it all. Get do it all. Up. Whatever. So we are fixing to dump some of this stuff in here. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, boy. This is maintenance right here. Yeah, we changed the fuel filter. That was our air filter. No, that ain't bad. Um, hey, there's a fuel filter. Yeah. So, so weekly maintenance, bro, on everything. Yeah, you got a boo-boo. I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm bleeding. I'll get you some tape. What you think about it, honey? Hey. Alright, well I'll let you get after it man. Shout out to Big Al. Yeah. And shout out to Cummins. Six ports. Races are one here in the heart of the shop. Every nut and bolt, every turn and pop, live it when the flag drops. We'll be ready to zoom from the shop to the track, racing straight to your living room. The radio's a steady beat Chasing dreams under the hood Making rivals face defeat Dusty Knuckles uh, 327 busy. update He's a freaking late My old body man You know I'm not Yeah He's having a blast with it Yeah this is Look at that Miyagi It ain't much But it's honest work and Miyagi He's my Miyagi The uh, the list has got bigger And smaller So it, it evened out You know Y'all check this out though. 
What's missing? Yep, 24. The USRA car has moved out. Not to its new home yet. But it could be, right? Whose new home is it going to? The jury design compound? Hey, hey. CHR owned jury design racing machine. Jury design operating huh? Yeah, the CHR owned though. Anyway, no. the guys helped me move this thing over here. Working. You know, sunbathe or whatever with this thing. That's beauty. Come on, honey. Yeah, here. Come on, here, here, here. Anyway, so that thing can sit in the corner for a little bit, or maybe not, while we get the late model ready. You know. Yeah, that's your 327 update. Woohoo! Shout out, Papa. All right. So what we have here is our. It's an assembly table, but cast your guesses on what uh, what our plans are for it. Just take a take a wild guess. So, um, anyways, like Mike said, they moved the twenty four over there. We've got to build some dollies for this one. I don't know when we're gonna get to that. Um, Mike, it'd help if you turn the, the destructions the right way. They're upside down, buddy. There we go. All right, now, now you, now you can figure it out. So, um, need to build some chassis dollies. Finish cleaning up in here, um, and then we're still waiting on parts. As soon as we get parts, we'll stick all of this stuff together. Hello, Mike. What's next? And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that. So we'll catch y'all later. Hey, what's the deal, man? Not much, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, working. Papa Squirrel said to bring him the camera. Oh, my bad. That was a cuss burger. <laughs> we need a sound effect for that. Hey, what are you doing? Crimping my, my um, fenders. What are you doing? Helping your dad, dog. You good. You know me. He needs help. Uh -huh. No, no, you don't. Look at all this sheet metal, man. You good dude. Look at it over there. I can't see that far. Anyway, we rolling. We rolling. We rolling. Finally, picking up the camera. Finally, it's Thursday. Uh, I didn't even like have nine. to say nothing this time. Yeah, no, it's natural. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> it's natural. That's a lie. So, some things has changed since last time I was in here with the camera rolling, but we were we were just gonna change the fluid out. And I went to my local hydraulic shop in D'Iberville, Mississippi. I deal with the guy all the time. And I told him what I was working on and uh, told him what it was doing. And he told me I was wasting my time changing just that fluid. He told me it's going to end up being that pump motors burn up. So I told him I had a spare. Thank goodness for Brian and Karen Foy when we bought this thing. Brian was real meticulous about everything. So he had spare everything. So we got a whole nother pump reservoir motor everything so i'm just gonna put it in here and uh get her back going maybe mm -hmm. maybe her door will quit going so slow. yeah being like, super slow yeah it drives me nuts i'm trying to load up fast yeah <laughs> it was so bad this past weekend our our Terrible. fans was like Can, are we holding y'all up we're like no nah, that's her door that thing was and it wasn't even moving but that's just what we deal with so it's like everything else takes a little maintenance, but we're gonna get it, huh, Mike? Heck yeah, we're yep. doing this. So we headed to uh, Baton Rouge tomorrow night, and then we're going, we don't know yet, Saturday. We are going racing, but we, we hung up between three places, so we're, that's yet to be determined. Possibly, why not? I'll just say it like that. Mm -hmm. so, all right, I gotta get back to work. 10-4, I'm helping. An unspoken rule, fuel lines, brake lines, every detail's got a tick, measure twice, cut once, precision's the trick, teamwork's the key, from the shop to the race, our victory lap starts right in this place. Races are won here, in the heart of the shop, every nut and bolt, every turn and pop, with it when the flag drops, we'll be ready to zoom, from the shop to the track, racing straight to your left. Races. Nice over there. <laughs> Appreciate your help there, Mike. Yep. Rock, what and, you think? Give me them flyers right there. What you got? What'd you find? Because we're hot. 
and I'm just going to take my chances. But see these wire nuts? Yeah. Turn them up so the water go. don't get in them. There you go. So, we ended up swapping that motor out, and we running faster than we ever ran on our gate. We'll be loaded up, headed to the next track a lot quicker. So, uh, nobody's seen Chase. I think we ought to go in and see what he's up to. I hear y'all giggling. Y'all must know something I don't. Y'all laughing at me? Yes, that's Chase. <laughs> Let's go check him out. I thought, I thought, I thought you left. <laughs> no, I've actually been here, Cat. Yeah, I know. So what, uh, right what we got going on in here? Looks like a studio evolving in here. Yeah, well, this is going to be the next phase of, of I guess, Chase Holland, not... CHR is going to obviously reap some of this, but it's it's mainly my bad, so that you can hear me. It's yeah, so that there we, we go. Can, uh, so that, that got a lot better. <laughs> no, so that we can produce better. Content. So you you see, this is what we don't want. Yeah, exactly. turning into Nothing. a jump table. Well, we've got pool bar plugs on it right now. Man, look at the lighting in here, dude. This is crazy. And then we're gonna have a green screen for like we can. So, yeah. I say a lot of stuff, and you don't listen to n hardly any of it. Barely. But yeah. apparently, I I said some stuff here recently, and I've been saying that I wanted you to be a, I wanted you to be the best YouTuber that drives a race car instead of the best race car driver that YouTubes. And uh, I guess first step was to go in debt even further. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You. That's what it well, appears you have fair, done. To be fair, this is multi-purpose. It's not just like our Patreon stuff. This is going to create produce produce better Patreon content as well. There you go. Um, so it's not like it's just for one thing. I got it for several reasons. Okay. So, and then I've got my designer working on a logo for it. For, for years, I've been saying it takes money to make money. Well, we're fixing to find out because we've got a couple pennies in this. Yeah. This is nice stuff, though. Very nice. But like I said, it already adds on to the Patreon that's stuff that we be, have. That's got to be right at the price of a lift cake on the price. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think yeah, we could have bought a new lift gate. I just had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get that back rolling though so you are you are fixed i know you was concerned i could tell you you was out in here worrying about it but yeah. we did get that done pay for it something right? yeah are we gonna make it racing because yeah, it's i don't know like we got seven packages down at the store on thursday we've been waiting on them all week like like we've done everything except for work on a race car because we're waiting on parts and now our parts are finally here at lunch on Thursday. And it's like, now we're gonna have a late night. We still need to do our, our Patreon stuff. So so as soon as we get done working on that, it ain't like we just shut down. Like now we gotta, you know. Go to work. I'm not complaining, but but yeah, yeah. it's. Ain't it fun being Thursdays are on? always wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's awesome. It's awesome, yeah. All right, well, I got stuff to go get for you, apparently. Hey, yeah. You want to put that fuel out of your truck on that gate? Yes, we, we, we need to unload that fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll That's pull it. Yes, sir. I'll pull it. One around. jug of it is, but they both go on the gate. Well, yeah. this is nice stuff, but uh, I got stuff to do. Yeah. Here we go. I would say it doesn't pay the bills, but. It does. This. We hope it does. If not, you're going out of business with the rest of us. In a, in a month from now, you'll see a see a system for sale on Facebook. You might just get there before some of the other ones get there. Get the Out of business, I mean. The what? Lightweight cast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all y'all ought to see these chairs that I got coming in. Y'all ain't even seen them yet. See? I'm telling you, the chairs that we're going to be sitting in to do these podcasts are wicked. I'm just trying to figure out where this goes during the week when, when there's work going well, on. Well, I promise you the chairs will be... You, they'll be used all the time. 
Yeah. That on extension. That little color out front there is going to get closed up. Yeah. No. Negative. Right there. All right. Yeah, next, next edition of the shop is fixing to get done up and then we'll. All right. Well, you breaking up. Battery's dying here. It's time to go. Catch y'all on the next one. Later. What? What? So this is Mama Squirrel take over on CHR YouTube. So I just came out to the shop to, to, <laughs> to check out what's going on out here. And Boss Man is not here. And check this out. We're racing tomorrow night. I don't night. like it when you walk around here. I'm, I'm walking. <laughs> this is the car we're racing tomorrow night. And then we're on dinner break. And once again, where's Chase? But have you seen his new I, I, uh, podcast? I'm going to save that for just a minute. I'm going to get back to that. Well, that's why the car ain't ready. So there's that. He's posting a video right now. Okay. All right. Is he coming back out? Yes. Okay. And he's very stressed out. So he would probably like it if you didn't say anything about it. So I'm going to say that Chase has been horse playing on some other things today. And that's why the race car is not ready to go in the hole, but check this out. <gasps> Y'all, look at this podcast table. This is like high tech. Y'all wanted microphones so you could hear? What? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Y'all, this chair vibrates. Stop. Have you sat in the so, chair? <laughs> ma'am? Have you sat in the chair? Uh, no, ma'am. It does, okay, sorry. Have you? So I told Chase that I wanted him to be a better YouTuber. And I didn't mean to cut back on racing or just quit racing. I just told him that I wanted him to do better. And Chase took that that I need to go spend a bunch of money. So he did. And uh, he's got some nice stuff. That's all I'm going to say. I talked to him about that. He made a very good business decision. I'm not going to talk about it on camera, but I do know that he made a very good business decision. I'm not judging him. Okay. I'm Mikey, not. what? Oh, your mouth. He mouthful. didn't borrow money from me to do it that I know of. No, he didn't. <laughs> nope, he didn't. He didn't. He told me what he did. It was very smart, actually. Okay. Perfect. All right, Mikey, give me the update. Where are we at? What are we looking at? Is the car almost ready? We're all almost ready. We just got to... Uh buttoning everything up. You know? Okay, can you tell me what that list looks like? Uh, we got to finish the body. And that ain't, I mean, that's, we probably got maybe, maybe an hour and a half on that if we put our heads down. What else? What's these numbers? Keep going, what else? Uh, we need to change your gear. That ain't nothing. Charge your battery, that ain't nothing. Uh, and just, I mean, a little setup stuff. I mean, we really ain't got that much. Probably two hours, probably. Five, five hours. You think? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I really hope not. Load up's gonna be about an hour, you know? Yeah, 30 right. minutes with that. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna make it. Yeah. Okay. We got it. okay, Yeah, probably 30 minutes tops everything. Yeah. Probably. Okay. If right. he comes back out here, because I don't know what to do when he's not in here. Honey, are you ready? <gasps> Is the car ready? Okay. Any last words? Good. If he was out here, I'd, I would ask him, are we going to make it? I was just going to ask you, are we going to make it? Oh, I don't know. Are we you? should be ready by Saturday. Mm -hmm. we'll make it we'll load up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're going to make it. I was about to ask if we was going to make it. We're going to make it. Barely. Don't matter. It is uh, Friday. And it is 1059. <laughs> and we just got to build a hood, it looks like. Everything else is built. Got to build one of them. Yeah, looking good, and he's got the wrap that just he just got it here, so uh, getting there. So, 
About to load up. Next, next hour we're loading up probably. Headed to Baton Rouge. All hands on deck. This thing looks good, man. Keep it off them skitter tires. We'll be doing something. Oh, he's running the cushion. Huh? It's easier to replace that deck. And the, quarter, the, the deck, the cooler, and the quarter and the spoiler is easier than the than the nose. He's determined. So, yeah. I don't know yeah. Where he's yep. Trying to find them few tents that we that we're lacking. So, uh, got her. Got her looking good, man. There's something particular you was waiting on on these. Uh, uh, just clamp them, like like line them up to where they're not sticking sticking out any, and then send them from there. Yep. We'll clamp that. Need a clamp rock. Yes. I've seen a bunch of them. Let me let me try to find you something. He'll, yeah, he'll shut the job now. Oh, what? All right, so I am fixing to work on, and this is going to fog up, and I apologize, but it's about 66 degrees in there and about 98 out here. So uh, just, have to, just have to clean y'all up. So we got all of his electrical problems fixed and now the generator don't want to fire up. And we've been having this problem too. I think it's a dead battery. I think that battery not just dead. I think it's got a, uh, I think it's just worn out. It, it won't charge back up. Maybe from the other problems we've been having, but he bought a battery a little while back when he was going to be a, a, a fisherman he bought a battery for a trolling motor and I saw it just sitting in there. It's a brand new battery. So I'm gonna get that battery and come change it out right here. I wish I could park this thing in air condition, but I can't. So that's what I'm about to work on. Just loaded us down with some uh, waters in here. Avery's loading up her other stuff. Uh, Mom's coming to get Ruby. I'll take y'all out in a minute and show y'all around the house. Uh, they finished a brick yesterday, and man, that thing is getting just prettier and prettier. Uh, MG Prestige, George Gilbert, and Willie McLeod doing a fine job on that little house. All the contractors that work for them, it's looking good. I'll go show y'all in a minute. We'll do a walkthrough. So here we go. All right, so as I was saying, this is what stage we're at right now. The uh, brick layers finished up yesterday. And man, this little thing is just looking prettier and prettier. It's gonna be nice. Let's go. Let's go look inside here. Honey just welcomed herself right on in. Uh, George and them called me this morning. They're laying out the kitchen cabinets and all that talking about what we're doing there a Little bathroom in here a little bedroom in here uh, Like I said, they just finished up the sheetrock walk-in closet master bedroom uh, Master bath I think she's got like the best view when I get this dirt cleaned up and uh, burn those piles, get that bush hog. That's just beautiful out there looking down that hill. And that is directly south right here. And for those of y'all that don't know, we're in South Mississippi and the Gulf of Mexico is I'm gonna say around 20 miles south of here. So directly that way, about 20 miles, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, 
yeah, anyway, really, really nice, really looking good. A little pantry in there, laundry room, and the garage. So, two car garage. Uh, looking good, man, I'm proud of it. Good job. We'll, we'll check back in another time, let y'all see more updates later. Let's go. All right, y'all, so some things happened as it usually does. So I changed that battery out in that compartment there and that was a uh, that was a job, you know, but not too bad. Got it done, got the old battery out right here on the ground. Came around, went to fire this dude up and it'll run for a second, shut off. Run for a second, shut off. And it's throwing a code that it needs service. Well, it just got service. It just had the oil change air filter change fuel filter change topped off with coolant everything's good and it wouldn't run so the button on the starter right here don't work so you got to do it up there and from up there you can't hear what's going on back here so i got rocky and chase to come out here with me and while i was holding the button down they couldn't hear the fuel pump priming so pulled this little cover off and guess what fuel pump right behind that easy to get to got a test light check the wire we're not getting power i'm no electrician by any means so i did what anybody would do uh, i started yanking on the wires and one of them come out in my hand and uh, we found that it was a bad connection in there put some new terminals on this thing run up and uh, fired up and run like brand new so uh Glad to have him back going. Uh, Chase and them are wide open. We're running late. He wanted to leave by one. I think it's about 115, 111 right now. Uh, he just went by. He's headed in to get ready. The guys are still in here. They're putting a wrap on. Like, it, it's just go, 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 go. So, uh, even, even staying home and taking time off, there's still so much to do. You know, we got the lift gate working. I'm proud of that and everything's, you know, we're moving faster now. So, uh, but it's just, it's a constant, constant hustle, man. So, uh, we, we should make it tonight. Uh-oh, looks like, looks like there's fixing to be some action over here. Nugget is walking through the yard. Him and Hunt, uh, Pepper are having a stare down. We live to see some action right here. Mm. Uh -oh. when he drops his wing it's over y'all 